Welcome to Nada Yada Island. This season on Nada Yada Island. When we were new, they spoiled me. They even gave me a phone. But then, it's like I didn't exist. Don't take Yada Yada from your wireless carrier. Now with Metro, get that new customer feeling again and again. Introducing Metro Flex. Free 5G phones when you join. Same deals as new customers when you stay. Only at Metro by T-Mobile. Just bring your number and ID and sign up for an eligible plan. After 12 months, trade in and get our best deals on select devices. Look around. You can find cars like these on Auto Trader, Like that car riding right your tail. Or if you're tailgating right now, all those cars doubling as kitchens and living rooms are on Auto Trader too. Are you working out and listening to this ad at the same time? Well, multitasking pro, cars like the ones in the gym parking lot are for sale on Auto Trader. New cars, used cars, electric cars, maybe even flying cars. Okay, no flying cars, but as soon as they get invented, they'll be on Auto Trader. Just you wait. Auto Trader. Are you a fan of mystery and adventure? Introducing June's Journey, the captivating free to play mobile game that will ignite your inner detective. Play as June Parker in a thrilling murder mystery adventure as you search for hidden objects to uncover the truth behind her sister's death. Step into the glamorous world of the Roaring Twenties with stunningly illustrated scenes and over a thousand mysteries to unravel. With new chapters added weekly, you'll never run out of clues to chase and suspects to interrogate. Plus, you can build your own island escape with beautiful gardens and buildings and even join a detective club to collaborate with other players. Experience the thrill of being a detective and unravel the mystery in June's Journey. Download June's Journey now on your Android or iOS device or play on PC through Facebook games. All right, places, please. The Daily Mix Show is on deck. Guitars plugged in. Drums ready to go. Chickens. Other animals. And action. This is the Daily Mix Show on The Rock with Taryn Daly and Steve Miggs. By listening to the Daily Mix Show, please refrain from any unnecessary finger gesturing. 99.9 KISW. Good morning and happy Tuesday, Rockaholics. Hey there, Steve Miggs. Hey, hey. Okay, you know, you get a little bit older and you start kind of hurting yourself in your sleep accidentally. What'd you do? Well, do you ever just wake up in a bit of a contortionist position and you know that moving is going to hurt? Does that ever happen to you where you're like, uh-oh, I got to get out of this position, but I know that when I do... My yes. back is going to hurt worse. That that was that was my experience at about one thirty this morning. That is the most annoying part about having our dog sleep in our bed. Because oh, no. by the time I wake up, I realize I'm like on the edge of a... And it's a cow king. It's a decent sized bed. And I'm on the edge in like this weird contortion. I'm just like, <laughs> I hate these two dogs right now. And they've got like the whole bed and my wife's on the other edge and I'm on one edge. And just like, what the hell are we doing? I love that you're getting bullied out of bed by two tiny dogs. Two tiny dogs. And then sometimes Tatum crawls into bed. And then I'm just like, what? I'm just going to sleep on the floor. It seems like it's a better situation. It's good for the spine. Well, growing up, that's fun. Oh, for sure. Back growing okay up, now? Growing old, growing tired. Yeah, I'm, I'll be okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> but we should definitely kick things off this morning by informing our rockaholics. Knowledge is power. So give us five-ish minutes and we'll give you uh, some interesting stuff you can talk about at work. This is the Daily Migs Download. A.K.A. the DMD. Here's your daily dose of doings happening in the world. And the DMD is brought to you by Palace Lawn. Today is your day to enjoy a hamburger. Although I feel like probably a lot of people enjoyed some hamburgers over the weekend with the long weekend. Some people were barbecuing. But today for everybody, not just here in America, but Canada, Mexico, wherever you may be, it's International Hamburger Day. Nice. So you're probably wondering, well, how can I celebrate? You could go to Wendy's. They're giving out junior bacon cheeseburgers for just a penny if you order through their at website or their app. Dang. Just a penny. Burger King, free hamburger today if you spend 70 cents and join their rewards program, which is free to join. 70 cents? 70 cents, baby. Arby's, you can get, uh, if you're a member, I imagine it's free to be a member on their app, you get half off burgers between now and Sunday. And then Jack in a Box is like, look, you want something? We got some free Jumbo Jacks if you spend a dollar. I do not have a single fast food app on my phone. I have, a, I have the Burger King app on my phone. I got to try this out. Dan, you have one? Oh, the McDonald's one is fantastic. I Like, literally, you get so many discounts if you use the app as opposed to just going there. Yeah. 
That's amazing. Burger King, Whopper Wednesdays. Yeah. $3 for a Whopper as opposed to like 8 or $9. I mean, that's a great deal. Come on, get with it. I'm going to try. I bet, I bet Sarah has no apps. None. Uh, no fast food apps. No. Yeah. I mean, I have Starbucks. Does that count? No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> for a minute, it was bad. I even had the app that told you the places where the McDonald's ice cream machine is still working. Oh, wow. That was like the dumbest app ever invented, but still pretty brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's important information to know. But the most important information to know today is your Seattle crack and have a big press conference. I think it's at like 10, 15 this morning. It's so funny, though. It's the world's worst kept secret because it's already been confirmed by multiple sources. What they're doing is announcing their brand new head coach. Should come as no surprise for us Kraken fans. It's Dan Bilesma, ba- ba- who is the coach right now for Coachella Valley. He's been doing a great job with the minor league team for the Seattle Kraken with the Firebirds over there. I mean, brought them to the finals last year. They're in the Western Conference Finals. He's known for working really well with these young players, which is very important with such a young team. And also, he did help the Pittsburgh Penguins win a Stanley Cup. Granted, that team was stacked. Oh, yeah. But still, he helped that team win the Stanley Cup. And, hey, if he could bring the same energy that he brought to the Pittsburgh Penguins, like this one time when they did one of those documentaries before they played uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs, he said this to the team in the locker room. They think we're playing good, but they have no idea how we're going to come here. D, run the show. It's going north. Forwards are getting to the offensive zone. Let's grind these bitches down here, hey? Two, three, full pinch the first time out. Cooney, you ready to get on that guy? Yeah. Good, because you're going. Let's go. Let's grind them bitches. I like that he referred to the Toronto Maple Leafs as bitches. <laughs> Bryce Miller pitched six solid innings, allowing two runs to help the Seattle Mariners beat the Houston Astros 3-2. to It just feels better when you beat the Astros, doesn't it? Very much so. Oh, the Mariners capitalized on a big first inning where they scored all three runs. Munoz earned his 11th save, helping us hold on to the lead. Lead, let's go, Mariners. I had a hard time sleeping last night because I watched the end of the game, and Munoz on the mound, he was just throwing some oh. heat. And I was just so jacked when he finally ended the game. I'm like, yo, still in first place, baby. Things are looking good. Let's keep the winning ways going. Also, they're doing Pearl Jam night tomorrow night. Brilliant. There's so many Pearl Jam. Hey, happy Pearl Jam Day for many of us. We're going to the show tonight over at Mm -hmm. Climate Pledge Arena. There's people coming in from all over the country to see Pearl Jam, not only tonight, but then Thursday. So what what should you do on a Wednesday? Well, go to a Mariners game and get a Pearl Jam shirt. The shirts are awesome. They are pretty awesome. I think you have to be a 10 club member in order to get the tickets through. The- I believe you're yeah. right. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, oh, man, sad news in the world of basketball, especially if you're a, a Portland Trailblazers fan because this is the guy that helped them win their one championship way back in the day. Bill Walton who's known for playing basketball, also being an incredible broadcaster. He died at the age of 71 after battling cancer. I mean, he was known for a lot of good stuff. Uh, and I know you brought up some fun fact about him. He is a was a massive deadhead and followed the Grateful Dead all over the place, was very good friends with the band, and just a beloved member of the of the you know deadhead community and, and everybody reaching out and giving condolences from that world, too. I mean, it's, what an impact he had in so many different arenas. And he would, he would be known for sometimes rocking tie-dyes Hell during yeah. the broadcast, which made me realize if you're a Grateful Dead fan, you rock tie-dyes, he had to be a stoner. I would imagine so. I mean, I'm not saying he is, <laughs> but he had to be a stoner. I mean, you, you can't like the Grateful Dead without being a stoner, right? Just a little bit of the devil's lettuce. Just something. Yeah. I mean, you can't enjoy that band sober, can you? No. Oh, boy. Did I upset you? A little bit. All right. Well, <laughs> hey, the weather's going to be pretty decent today. Great day to just walk around Seattle and get yourself uh, some merchandise. They're, they're opening up the merchandise lines, I think, early today for Pearl Jam fans. And it's going to be a long line all day long. It's going to be ridiculous. If you want to get some Pearl Jam merch, you might want to get in line right now. There are some fans already in line trying to get the GA spot before the doors are even opening at like 6-something this, this evening. It's kind of crazy. So the weather's 60 degrees and cloudy. That is the DMD, and that's what's up. A teen in Shelton fell 400 feet down from a bridge and survived. We're going to tell you what happened at 6-20. The Daily Migs Show. One, two, three, four. Those are numbers, but you already knew that. If you want to know what number you're going to pay each month for your car... Use Kelly Blue Book My Wallet on Auto Trader. They're really good at numbers. <laughs> Auto Trader. Welcome to Nada Yada Island. This season on Nada Yada Island. When we were new, they spoiled me. They even gave me a phone. But then, it's like I didn't exist. Don't take Yada Yada from your wireless carrier. Now with Metro, get that new customer feeling again and again. Introducing Metro Flex. Free 5G phones when you join. Same deals as new customers when you stay. Only at Metro by T-Mobile. Just bring your number and ID and sign up for an eligible plan. After 12 months, trade in and get our best deals on select devices.
Are you a fan of mystery and adventure? Introducing June's Journey, the captivating free-to-play mobile game that will ignite your inner detective. Play as June Parker in a thrilling murder mystery adventure as you search for hidden objects to uncover the truth behind her sister's death. Step into the glamorous world of the Roaring Twenties with stunningly illustrated scenes and over a thousand mysteries to unravel. With new chapters added weekly, you'll never run out of clues to chase and suspects to interrogate. Plus, you can build your own island escape with beautiful gardens and buildings and even join a detective club to collaborate with other players. Experience the thrill of being a detective and unravel the mystery in June's Journey. Download June's Journey now on your Android or iOS device or play on PC through Facebook games. A 19-year-old survived a fall of nearly 400 feet near High Steel Bridge in Mason County. Do you know where that is? I don't think I do. No, I I saw the news report about this. I'm like, I clearly need to get around Western Washington a little bit more and enjoy what we have because it looks like a really cool spot. And I don't even know, like, is this just a footbridge or do cars drive on this bridge? I'm not even sure. It looked like a footbridge. That could be wrong. But they, thankfully, only minor injuries, which is absolutely remarkable. This happened back on Saturday uh, when the teen slipped and fell while walking around with his family. And this is the King 5 report on what happened. He was hiking down a washout that a lot of people use and has kind of become a trail. It's not a trail. It's a washout. It's too steep. A 19-year-old man made the mistake Saturday of walking on the incredibly steep terrain beneath the bridge. And ended up all the way down at the river sliding. Police and firefighters sprang into action, deciding to send a firefighter down at the end of a rope hooked him up into a harness and and brought him all the way back up. Miraculously, he only had minor injuries. I can't even imagine. It's also weird whenever like the news reporter needs to like like it's like why can't the guy who's being interviewed just finish the whole story? Like it's such a weird thing. Like they do like a duet thing going back and forth, which always kind of distracts me. But that is like yeah, the fact that he's okay and minor injuries is just bonkers. And your family is watching that go down? That would be terrifying. Here's a bit more from the report. There aren't a lot of warning signs, but there are a few, including this one, which says, warning, the areas around the high steel bridge are slippery, steep, and unsafe for exploring. Officials say a lack of respect for nature is part of the problem. People come up here to just be stupid. (laughs) Something even happened behind us while we were interviewing him. Some young people tried to throw a heavy log off the side of the bridge. Did you see? I don't know if you watched the the news footage of this. There was somebody with this giant log. I'm like, and it's the middle of the day. I'm like, what kind of chaos is happening over here? Oh my goodness! The guy's right. People just show up to that bridge just to be stupid. Like I would never think. Let me just pick up a giant log and throw it off of a bridge to see what happens. Yeah, people are wild. People are totally wild. It's chaos happening at the high steel bridge. Uh, So do you? Have anything that you've ever done in in your life where you you know had like a fall or any any sort of you know crazy experience like that? No, because typically when I'm I'm around somewhere where I could potentially fall, I try and be careful. <laughs> and I got to ima- I know it's crazy. I, I don't I don't mean to sound like the boring guy over here, but I usually if I think I'm gonna slip, I'm the worst. Like even like in little hills in our neighborhood, like my wife and I will go like walking somewhere. I'm just like, hold on, let me brace myself. She's like, it's it's really just two steps. You're gonna be fine. Even if you fall, you're not gonna hurt yourself. No, even sometimes those skiing, you know, in in the in the mountains, like mm-hmm. I've had a couple of like yard sale falls where you lose everything. Your skis go everywhere. Your hat, and I'm always surprised that I'm not badly injured. Yeah, the, the whole like, that's why part of why I just don't want to ski because I know I, I'm gonna be able to control myself. <laughs> you just got the need for speed. N- no, the need, the, the inability <laughs> to stop. For instance, oh, no. my daughter, I think, has the same ability that I do. Because, okay, so you want to talk about something that happened that was kind of crazy. This happened last week. And we're, she has one of these little scooters that don't really, they don't turn. Yeah. You just lean into them, and that's how they turn. And she is really good at this thing. Like, you know, we, we are in our neighborhood. Like, there's, like, slight little hills in here. And I'm watching her. I'm like, I will bail immediately, and I'm an adult. And here you are at four years old, and you're navigating this thing real well. But there's a part, like, near our neighborhood where... When you walk, it gets a little bit steep. And we, keep, we kept telling her, hey, you know, slow down. She's like, I got this. And we, we've seen her. She works the brake like a champ. I don't know why that one day last week she decided that she didn't know how to use the brake. Oh, no. So she's already ahead of us. And we just hear her going, I can't stop, guys. I can't stop, Mom. <laughs> Dad, I can't stop. And my, both, Sid and I are just too far to get anywhere near her. And I'm like, well, 
there is a point where it's going to stop for her, whether she wants it to or not. It's like this wall right before, like, like these trees. Like, you know, like one of those, like, wood boards that are, like, red and white striped to basically say, hey, stop going oh, here. No. And so we're watching. I'm like, it's, this is only going to end one way. She's going to slam into this wall. She's going to be fine. It's not like... <laughs> <laughs> the kid who just had a broken arm and arm surgery. This she's gonna be fine. Well, I mean, there's nothing we can do. So I'm like, she's got her helmet on. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to do other than watch this. And sure as that, she just keeps going, boom, right into this wall. Her head hits it, not too hard, but like, thankfully, she had the helmet on. <laughs> And she's not crying. She's just like, what the hell just happened? She's looking at us like, why didn't you guys help us? Help me. And we're like, there's nothing we could have done. We kept telling you to slow down. Oh, no. And you didn't want to slow down. And then you said you could handle it. And, well, you learned a valuable lesson, kid. Turns out she could handle it, though. It's awesome. Oh, man. No, it was, there was a part where it was like, do I pull my phone out and film this? Like, is that bad parenting? But I kind of wanted to have this to show her. You know, when she gets a little bit older, hell, even a couple hours later, she would probably think it was the funniest thing ever and want to watch it over and over and over. Anytime, anytime she falls down, if I have video of it, she <laughs> just wants to watch that and laugh. Like, she's the walking toddler version of Jackass. We've all done stupid things in our lives. Sometimes it leads to a little bit of a scary situation, like the guy falling 400 feet near the high steel bridge. So we want to know, Rockaholics, when did the fun go sideways for you? When did the fun go a little too far? Call us up now, 206-803-ROCK. We'll take your calls after Ozzy Osbourne. The Daily Mix Show. Show. We all do stupid things, and sometimes those stupid things lead to scary situations. So we want to know, when did the fun go too far? 206-803-ROCK. Chris in Smoky Point... You uh, used to ride around on a four-wheeler quite a bit, yeah? Oh, yes. And then what happened? Yeah. So so we went on a big camping trip, uh-huh. a bunch of our buddies out there, and uh, I was working on a guy's four-wheeler, and I took it with me because he said, take it out there, ride it around a little bit because it only messed up when it got hot. So I was like, okay, I'll take it out there. I'll put around on a little bit. I wasn't planning on riding it hard because, for one, I didn't own it. You know, I was just out there messing with the carburetor on it. And uh, I don't remember. So I lost about 36 hours of memory because of this. Um, The last thing I remember was walking the dogs behind the campsite and then waking up in the second hospital. So from what my buddies told me is they didn't see it happen. Nobody's seen how I, how I wrecked or how, how the accident went down. They just seen where I hit and where I landed. So I was thrown about 60 yards from the impact. Oh. Hit head first and cracked my skull open really bad. So I uh, I apparently sideswiped uh, a stump. I was on the side of the road and was flung off the four wheeler. And I cracked my front temporal lobe. That's where I got hit. The front left side of my head. Uh huh. And I had three massive fractures that went the entire length of my skull. How do you heal from something like that? Like, do they wrap your head? Like, how, how does that even work? Nope. They just stick. They they put a couple sutures to hold the skin together. Okay. And then they stapled my head back together. They had to hold it together. Oy. And it was it was rough. Were you wearing a helmet? I was not. I I like I said, I wasn't planning on going fast. The only thing that I can think of is uh, you guys know what diesel runaway is, right? No idea. No. no. <laughs> so, I appreciate uh, you thinking so, that we do. We're not that bright. Well, I, I, I'm a big car guy. but <laughs> So when a diesel engine gets hot enough or a runaway situation happens, it will it will pretty much go wide open. You can't stop it. You can shut the vehicle off. The motor will still go. Oh, wow. So with a two-stroke four-wheeler, with a two-stroke motor that's air-cooled, once they get hot, they will run away as well. Now, being this isn't a four-wheeler with a clutch or anything, it had a belt drive. So once it ran away, it went wide, past wide open, like faster than you could actually run it normally. And I think I just tried to stop it, and I lost control and just smoke-checked the tree, and that was that was curtains for it. And, Chris, uh, one, one quick question for you, if, if you... Had you ever, like, and you said you lost memory for 36 hours. Has any of those memories ever, like, popped up in a dream or, like, a flashback? Like, I always wonder about that when people lose that much of a memory. And is it just, it has it just been gone ever since? 
Yes, it has. I I wish. So wow. it bugs me because I've I've done a lot of racing my entire life. I, I've raced pretty much anything with an engine on it, and I pride myself on being very very good behind the wheel of anything. And it bugs me that I don't know how I wreck. Mm. Wow, that is wild. Yeah, Ethan in Montana. Yours also invo- involves a vehicular incident. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? But yeah, my story doesn't compare anything near to near the last guy. That's for sure. Not many stories involve cracking your skull in three different places. No, it doesn't. But we were visiting Montana. I think it's just like 2019 now. Yeah, it had to have been that long ago. And one of the cabins at the Hot Springs up here rented like side by sides. So, and there's this nice like 14 mile high mountain road. Great drive if you're not sliding off cliffs. But we'd gotten all the way to the end. And we're coming back. It was me and my dad. And we'd gotten a little too confident about one of the corners. It ended up being super gravelly. Uh, slid right off the mountain face. The whole cart flipped sideways, dragged several yards down the hill. Um, pretty miraculous. There wasn't a rock there or anything. But, uh, yeah, it ended up being the several hour ordeal to try and get somewhere for cell servers for someone to come pull it out. Ended up being a real nasty storm. We had to leave some of our family in. But thankfully, the Rednecks and the General Lee Polaris were great help. So, And did you guys have any injuries or were you pretty much okay? We were fairly injury-free. My dad looked like he got in a bar fight, but <sighs> that was... I mean, his face was just real nasty for about the next two weeks or so. And, and so far, I mean, other than that, we we're all good. And a side-by-side, is that like the things that look kind of like a golf cart? Sort of. This was more akin to a like a, a go kart sort of deal. Think of go kart with a roll cage and harness. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to figure out exactly what a side by side was, and I was like, I, I'm not positive, but is it that? Okay. Sounds fun minus the cliff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rockaholics, we're really going to need your help on this one. We found out this morning. We did the math, and Steve Miggs has over 100 more wins than he has losses. <laughs> In the game of Beat Migs. He is 139 wins. That's right. 37 losses. Recognized. And 19 ties. Dominance. In 2024. Let's do something about this. 206-803-ROCK. We're going to play Beat Migs at 650. The Daily Migs Show. Are you a fan of mystery and adventure? Introducing June's Journey. The captivating free-to-play mobile game that will ignite your inner detective. Play as June Parker in a thrilling murder mystery adventure as you search for hidden objects to uncover the truth behind her sister's death. Step into the glamorous world of the Roaring Twenties with stunningly illustrated scenes and over a thousand mysteries to unravel. With new chapters added weekly, you'll never run out of clues to chase and suspects to interrogate. Plus, you can build your own island escape with beautiful gardens and buildings and even join a detective club to collaborate with other players. Experience the thrill of being a detective and unravel the mystery in June's Journey. Download June's Journey now on your Android or iOS device or play on PC through Facebook games. Start your summer road trip at Midas and get up to $30 off your next repair service. Plus, get a free closer look vehicle check to make sure you're road trip ready. So if you need a brake service and alignment check or tune-up, hit up Midas for up to $30 off. For more details, request your appointment at Midas.com. Welcome to Nada Yada Island. This season on Nada Yada Island. When we were new, they spoiled me. They even gave me a phone. But then, it's like I didn't exist. Don't take yada yada from your wireless carrier. Now with Metro, get that new customer feeling again and again. Introducing Metro Flex. Free 5G phones when you join, same deals as new customers when you stay. Only at Metro by T-Mobile. Just bring your number and ID and sign up for an eligible plan. After 12 months, trade in and get our best deals on select devices. One, two, three, four. Those are numbers, but you already knew that. If you want to know what number you're going to pay each month for your car, use Kelly Blue Book My Wallet on AutoTrader. They're really good at numbers. Auto Trader. Are you a fan of mystery and adventure? Introducing June's Journey, the captivating free-to-play mobile game that will ignite your inner detective. Play as June Parker in a thrilling murder mystery adventure as you search for hidden objects to uncover the truth behind her sister's death. Step into the glamorous world of the Roaring Twenties with stunningly illustrated scenes and over a thousand mysteries to unravel. With new chapters added weekly, 
you'll never run out of clues to chase and suspects to interrogate. Plus, you can build your own island escape with beautiful gardens and buildings and even join a detective club to collaborate with other players. Experience the thrill of being a detective and unravel the mystery in June's Journey. Download June's Journey now on your Android or iOS device or play on PC through Facebook games. Welcome to Nada Yada Island. This season on Nada Yada Island. When we were new, they spoiled me. They even gave me a phone. But then, it's like I didn't exist. Don't take yada yada from your wireless carrier. Now with Metro, get that new customer feeling again and again. Introducing Metro Flex. Free 5G phones when you join. Same deals as new customers when you stay. Only at Metro by T-Mobile. Just bring your number and ID and sign up for an eligible plan. After 12 months, trade in and get our best deals on select devices. The Daily Big Show presents the most popular radio game on this side of the speaker. Let's play Beat Mix. Beat Mix, don't be a loser. Beat Mix, you're a loser. Who's ready to Beat Mix? I know Becca from Arlington is. Becca, are you there? Yes, I am. I'm Sarah, your host, and it's time for you to get out of here, Steve. Bye-bye. For those playing at home, Becca has 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. You can pass all you want, but you only get three guesses per question. Are you okay. ready? Yes. According to Google, what brand of cookie is America's favorite? Uh, Mother's. No. Um, animal cookies. No. Chocolate chip. No. Which continent is the most populated? Um, Asia. Correct. What famous female singer stars in the new Netflix movie Atlas? Uh, J-Lo. Yes. The Scorpions had the mid-80s album title Love at First What? Fight. No. Steve. Yes. Steve. Which U.S. state is nicknamed the Sunshine State? Uh, Florida. Correct. What part of the human eye controls the amount of light that passes through the pupil? The cornea. No. Uh, the, uh, iris? Yes. Who is the arch nemesis of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Uh, the, um, not claw. Um, Becca, you got five correct. Five. Yes. Right down the middle. (laughs) I was a little worried at the beginning there, but then you ended up getting a few answers right. It's my girl. Representing the North End. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Got Stanwood in the house. She's from Arlington. Yeah. Stilly Valley, baby. Let's go. (laughs) It's time to take her down to Southtown. (laughs) Steve, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Let's go. According to Google, what brand of cookie is America's favorite? Chocolate chip? No. Snickerdoodle? No. Um, uh, Oreo. There we go. Oh. Which continent is the most populated? I literally just ate one of those Sour Patch ones. Um, what? <laughs> Which continent is the most populated? Uh, go North America. No. Uh, Africa. No. Um, Europe. No. Mm. What famous female singer stars in the new Netflix movie Atlas? Oh. J-Lo. Jennifer yes. Lopez. The Scorpions had the mid-80s album titled Love at First What? Love at First Sting. Yeah. Which U.S. state is nicknamed the Sunshine State? Uh, California. No. Florida. Correct. What part of the human eye controls the amount of light that passes through the pupil? Is that the iris? It is. Yeah. Who is the arch nemesis <laughs> of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Uh, Splinter. No. Teenage Mutant Ninja Pizza. No. Wow. The rat. No, he's their friend. Oh, crap. April. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> what is that? Mean? <laughs> Steve, you got five <gasps> correct, which is a tie. Five yeah. to five. Oh. We'll take it. <laughs> Woo. I feel like I made you giggle and you didn't get that next question in because wow. of that giggle. Do you want me to ask you it? Yeah, I kind of do. What is the most common element in Earth's crust? Oh, I don't know. Pizza. See? (laughs) (laughs) Dirt? No. Um, Which continent is the most populated? Becca got this correct. Asia. Asia. Mm -hmm. And the most common element in Earth's crust is 
oxygen. And who is the arch nemesis of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Shredder! Shredder! Shredder. Right. Not Splinter. Come on, hey, Steve. Is Splinter his friend? Their yeah. friend? Yeah. He's the rat. He's yeah. the sensei. Yes. <laughs> Someone said for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle question, though, I know you're looking for Shredder, but it's the Foot Clan. Uh, what? Well, he controls, I mean, he's like in charge of the foot. I forgot even that was what they were called. He's like the boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's like he's the he's like the main foot. I honestly didn't even know who <laughs> he's the like the big was. he's like the big toe of yeah. the foot. He's yeah. The big toe. <laughs> well, congratulations, Steve, on tying back up. Oh, thanks. I really want a congratulations. <laughs> yeah. For that. I mean, I'm happy about it. We have a dumb challenge. We need someone that is confident that they are a great speller. It's not Steve Miggs, by the it's way. It's definitely not me. <laughs> Maybe you were once a spelling bee champion, Rockaholics. You're the one we want to hear from. Call us up if this is you. 206-803-ROCK. We're going to talk about this after Pearl Jam. It's a Daily Mix show. Look around. You can find cars like these on Auto Trader. New cars, used cars, electric cars, maybe even flying cars. Okay, no flying cars, but as soon as they get invented, they'll be on Auto Trader. Just you wait. Auto Trader. Welcome to Nada Yada Island. This season on Nada Yada Island. When we were new, they spoiled me. They even gave me a phone. But then, it's like I didn't exist. Don't take Yada Yada from your wireless carrier. Now with Metro, get that new customer feeling again and again. Introducing Metro Flex. Free 5G phones when you join. Same deals as new customers when you stay. Only at Metro by T-Mobile. Just bring your number and ID and sign up for an eligible plan. After 12 months, trade in and get our best deals on select devices. Are you a fan of mystery and adventure? Introducing June's Journey, the captivating free-to-play mobile game that will ignite your inner detective. Play as June Parker in a thrilling murder mystery adventure as you search for hidden objects to uncover the truth behind her sister's death. Step into the glamorous world of the Roaring Twenties with stunningly illustrated scenes and over a thousand mysteries to unravel. With new chapters added weekly, you'll never run out of clues to chase and suspects to interrogate. Plus, you can build your own island escape with beautiful gardens and buildings and even join a detective club to collaborate with other players. Experience the thrill of being a detective and unravel the mystery in June's Journey. Download June's Journey now on your Android or iOS device or play on PC through Facebook games. A big shout out to Declan Malady, an 11-year-old fifth grader from Snoqualmie Elementary School. He will be representing the state of Washington. In Let's the go, Declan. Yes, in the 96th Scripps National Spelling Bee. He's got this. Oh, absolutely. Don't let us down. That, the Evergreen State, wow. baby. Yeah, spell for life. So based on this, we wanted to ask for Rockaholics to call in. If you think you're a great speller, and we have a dumb challenge, Migs, can you tell us about it? Well, because I don't think any of us are very good at spelling. Maybe, maybe, At least I know I'm not. I'm speaking for all of us. I know I'm terrible at spelling. But I thought it'd be fun to celebrate the fact that Declan's going to the spelling bee to see if we have a Rockaholic who's great at spelling. And then each of us picks one word that we think we could stump this person with. Nothing like crazy, obviously. Like a word that really would stump you, a commonly misspelled word, and see how, how good this speller is. So do we have a rockaholic? We do. We have Austin in Sumner. Austin, are you like a former spelling bee competitor yourself? Um, I mean, I'm back-to-back -back second and third-grade champion. Yeah! Whoa. You're a legend, man. Any advice for Declan, who's going to the spelling bee championships? Right. Yeah, well, good luck to her. I hope she does good. Or him. <laughs> or him. <laughs> so we all picked out some words, and we want to throw these your way, Austin, to see how well you can spell. All right. Let's do it. All right. You want, you want to start things off, Taryn? I'll go first. My okay. word for you, Austin, is accommodate. Accommodate. A-C-C-O-M-D-A-T-E-E. -E. Oh, one E. Sorry. <laughs> Did you throw two M's in there or just one? No. I think you threw only one in there, and there's actually two M's in accommodate. A one O M D A T E. <laughs> I think we only heard you say one M, but I don't know if the phone cut out, but it's A C C O M M O D A T E. Wow. That's wrong for me. <laughs> oh, maybe we got. Oh, Austin, it was good talking to you. Let's talk to Goddess. Goddess in Auburn, you are also a great speller, yes. <laughs> Yes, ma'am, I am. Nice uh, talking to you. I hope you have another wonderful day. Have the muck up, Jared. 
Did you did you compete in a spelling bee when you were younger? You know, I did. <laughs> and I think I'm worse because I'm 43 now. <laughs> Is that your birth given name, Goddess, or you just go by Goddess? I go by the Diosa de la Loba. Goddess of the wolves. Ooh, I like it. Let's see if you're the goddess of the spellers. I know. All right, I got nickname. I got nicknamed that. I didn't choose that. That, but it 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 is what it is. Oh, a squirrel. Sweet. Your word is squirrel. No, I'm just. Your word is add. Can you spell add? All right, we got one word for you. I got one for you, you goddess. Just, you just spelled it for me. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. I, I feel like she's like a guarantee. Uh, let's, see, let's see. Can you spell the word guarantee? G-A-E-R. <laughs> hey, good talking to you, goddess. Have a great day and have fun with that squirrel. <laughs> G-A. <laughs> I can't mock her. Because I can't spell guarantee. Sometimes I don't, I, I'm like, well, you know what? Autocorrect will spell it for me. Oh, yeah. And I start typing it, and autocorrect still can't figure it out for me. It's just like, we don't know what you're trying to spell, you idiot. Can I tell you the story that got me, or the, the word that got me eliminated from the spelling being, I think it was like fourth grade? Yes, because I rumor has it you and Danny have been involved in spelling bees. Yeah, and obviously there was Sarah probably and I, my, we just decided, you know what? We, we don't got time for that. This was probably my first and last spelling bee. This is so embarrassing. I spelled dollar wrong. Dollar? Dollar. With an E? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? Yeah. Did you spell tomorrow with an A? No. Tomorrow? <laughs> Danny, what was your word that got you out? Okay. So, I don't know if you know the rules of spelling bees. If you ask for a definition, you have to spell the definition of that word. So, my word was very. And me... <laughs> like a dumbass asked for a definition and they said i am very hungry instead i spelled v-a-r-y which is like to change very very and so i got eliminated literally on the first word a four-letter word <laughs> because i asked for a definition and they gave it to you and they were like yeah we have it for you you are very stupid yeah yeah <laughs> get out of this competition i was so i cried for like three days no yeah that's very sad <laughs> sorry Someone said there's a documentary called Spellbound, which follows a bunch of kids on their journey to spelling bee championships. It's surprisingly good. Some of these kids are under a lot of pressure, just like our rockaholics. They, like they, they cracked on the or goddess yeah. or Austin cracked on the pressure. I mean, squirrels, man. That was great. <laughs> also, I love that we're like, hey, are you really good at spelling? And both people called in, could not spell the <laughs> easiest words, accommodate and guarantee. I love our rockaholics. Why have people been camping outside of Climate Pledge Arena since last night? To see squirrels. It's one Seattle dance fault, and we're going to tell you all about it at 720. The Daily Mix Show. Steve Miggs, I'm actually surprised you're here right now. Yeah, me too. I am too. Danny is shocked. Yeah? Because of Pearl Jam tonight? I, I legit thought you were the biggest Pearl Jam fan, and I think both you and Taryn, I don't even think you guys are fans. I mean, at this point, we're like... We're maybe like in like 1,000th place of fans. <laughs> maybe even worse. There was a news story on Como last night that there have been people camping out at Climate, Climate Pledge Arena since last night. Yeah, this is, I mean, this has actually blown my mind because I was just like, okay, I know I'm excited about Pearl Jam. I know you're excited about Pearl Jam, but the idea of spending, also spending the night in Seattle Center doesn't sound like a lot of fun, to be honest with you, whether or not. Like, I'm not even talking about like if the weather is too cold. It just seems like that's kind of sketch. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And these are all folks with the GA situation. They want to get the best po spot possible. But of course, Como News went out and was talking to some of these folks. And here is the report. The local rock legends Pearl Jam set to perform a Climate Pledge Arena tomorrow night. It's the band's first show here in nearly six years. And as you can see already, fans have started lining up outside the arena. Some say they've been camping here since yesterday morning. They say they already have floor tickets and are just waiting to be the first in line to get the perfect spot near the stage. One fan we spoke with drove all the way from Milwaukee. He's already seen the band 251 times. The proximity is a little intoxicating in that like you're garnering more information, but you're also kind of closer to the vortex of like the energy, like where it all starts. What the <laughs> hell is he saying? The vortex of the energy. The proximity, man. You know, when you take that acid, 
<laughs> the vortex just comes right into your face. Also, we had a quick little chat about this too, Danny and I did, about if you do get one of those coveted spots up front, you can't leave to go to the bathroom. No. You can't be pounding beers. No, you can't do anything. You're just stuck there. I mean, maybe if you have a friend, they kind of try to hold a spot for you, but it's the moment you move, someone else is taking that spot. I've never been the person that waited right in the front to be able to be as close as possible Ever? to the band. No. I've never waited in line to get that close to a band. Like Usually I'm just like, I'll just get wherever I get. I like being right by the soundboard because it sounds good there. And nobody's really fighting to get that spot. Have you ever camped overnight to get a ticket? No. I mean, I remember waiting many hours back in the day before the internet. Like you'd wait outside like the record store and you'd wait hours to be able to get oh. your ticket. Like that was crazy enough or, or to get a record even, but nothing along those lines. I guarantee you we have some rockaholics that have done this. Yeah. So if you have ever camped overnight for something... What was it for? Or what was the longest time you waited in line for something? 206-803-ROCK. We're going to take your calls after Nirvana. The Daily Mix Show. Show. When have you camped overnight for something? Or what was the longest time you waited in line for something? 206-803-ROCK. Trucker Brad in Kent. You waited two nights for what? So this was back in 1980. Um, it was called the Oregon Jam, and it was a con- uh, at Austin Stadium, Eugene, and it was a, con- a su- Sunday show, and it had uh, like Blue Oyster Cult, Tom Petty, Loverboy, a uh, band called Traffic, Joan Jett. Damn. Uh, just yeah, it was crazy, and the ticket was only 12 bucks. Yeah. So get- yeah, right. <laughs> but we'd get there Friday night. We'd take my Ford Pinto and we'd put. Wired house, big ass house speakers into my stereo and go down there and camp overnight for the weekend and, and blast music out of my car. And it was just a big party all, all, all weekend waiting to get for them to open the gates because it was all general admission. So it was just uh-huh. a dead first come, first serve. So, how many yeah. other people were like you and camping out for days? Oh, there were thousands. Wow. Really? Yeah. And how many yeah, people was, were you all able to get in? Yeah, we did. We got right down in front, too. It was awesome. Nice. And the really funny thing is somebody kept coming through the line with a bottle of Visine that had acid in it. <gasps> <laughs> did you did you participate in that? I did not. <laughs> like, man, ever since I used that Visine, I'm seeing way more than I ever was able to see before, including talking trees and moving clouds. This is nuts. <laughs> yeah, they ended up getting the fire hoses out and spraying the crowds down because it was like 95 degrees that day. Wow. What, awesome. And what ended up being your favorite act of the weekend, if you recall? The favorite what? Your favorite act of the weekend. The band. Oh, it would have to be Loverboy at that time. They were uh, they were just, they put on a great show. That's awesome. 12 bucks, I think that's about what the Pro Jam tickets are costing right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. I was, I was just looking online. It's the about, merch, too. The mer- Yeah, talk about, I would like to wait in line for our Pro Jam fans. You know, one of the big things is they always make, uh, merch that is specific to the town that they're in. Like when they were in Portland, they did these cool Portland Trailblazer ba- basketball jerseys that said Pearl Jam on them. And they just released what they're going to be selling at the Pearl Jam merch thing, which starts at noon today. I almost want to get in line for it. So what do you have your eye on so far? Oh, everything. You want much. one of each? I mean, I'm not going to get one of each because that's going to be a dent in the wallet, especially when I have a vacation I'm trying to plan for and all that kind of stuff. But they are doing a Pearl Jam Kraken jersey. <sighs> Yeah. You so need that. It, well, yeah, but I don't need to spend as much money as it's probably going to be. I disagree. I think it would be financially irresponsible not to buy it. <laughs> oh, great. Now I got you and Danny trying to twist my arm into buying this buy jersey. It. Buy it. Hey, while you're there, will you get me one, too? I'm a medium. Thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No. Twist his arm, Taryn. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we're going to really have to twist really hard. It's already there, been Steve. twisted, yeah. <laughs> they got a sweet T-shirt that's like a boom box that has a space needle breaking out of it. Some great artwork for their posters. But, yeah, the merch line starts... I mean, well, it probably starts already. I bet there's people already waiting in line, but they're doing the merch outside of the arena, outside of Climate Pledge today at noon until the end of the show. Tomorrow, even though there's no show tomorrow, it's going from noon to 7. They're selling the merch outside of the uh, outside of Climate Pledge. And then, of course, on Thursday as well, from noon until the end of the show. So rewind six years when they were here for the home shows. Yes. Did you stand in line and get merch for that? Well, no, I didn't. <laughs> Ask them why, Taryn. Because I didn't realize there was a line. I had no idea that this was a thing. Like, I just figured... <laughs> this is the biggest Pearl Jam fan I know, and he doesn't know. <laughs> well, when you go to a venue, they have merch set up everywhere. So I wasn't... I just was like, oh, wow, there's no line at this spot. You know, it was at T-Mobile Park. 
I figured there was merch everywhere. I didn't know that there was maybe like one or two spots that were really specifically meant for the merch. So from where I was coming from, there was no line because the line started on the other side of the table. Oh. And whoever it was that was working behind the merch table, blame is on them. They just took my order <laughs> okay. and I bought my stuff, not realizing I just completely skipped like a, probably a two hour long line. Wow. Yeah. It was kind of, I felt bad, but not bad enough to bring back my hat. Do you recall any time in your life waiting an astronomical amount of minutes or hours for concert tickets or otherwise? Mm. Yeah, when I was a kid, like I mentioned, like yeah, I, I said like Motley Crue, my buddy Tom and I, we waited in line outside of a record store for, for probably four or five hours. And I think when Guns N' Roses put out one of their records, we were there at midnight waiting in line for to probably- To get the new album? Yeah, back oh. in those days. Remember those days? Oh, yeah. That was pretty awesome. What about you? So uh, the one- the- the longest I can recall waiting was for Foo Fighters tickets when they did that surprise show, which I think is coming up on 10 years this November uh-huh. when they played that show at the show box. That was awesome. So awesome. And I think I was going to get one ticket through, you know, because of working here, which was very nice, but I wanted more than one ticket. So I stood in line so I could get two more tickets. And my friend Lizzie and I, we subbed out at one point, but we were in line for hours. I mean, it must have been at least four or five hours. Oof. And it was Hi. cold. Danny, what about you? So, you know, the band, the Ataris, they had the, yeah. the, their biggest hit was the Boys of Summer, <laughs> the, the cover of the, the, yeah. the Don Henley song. Yeah. The, so back in 2004, I was probably 16, 17 years old and they were like the top band on my list. And I just loved everything about them. So they were coming to Albuquerque to the Sunshine Theater and sold out show. We showed up, we ditched school. And it was raining and snowing in Albuquerque. It was probably 30 degrees outside. Ooh. We went probably at 1030 in the morning and just waited all day because I wanted to get on stage because they were famous for their last song of the set. They would pull somebody from the crowd and have them play guitar with them for the last song. And I had Tell practiced. Green Day. Yeah. And I had practiced for like months and months and months. And I wanted to play so bad. So I was like, if I get there early, maybe I can meet Chris Rowe and tell him that I want to play. And he'll pull me up. Did not meet Chris Rowe. Oh. I did end up going to lunch with the drummer and the bass player, though, uh, at Quiznos. Did they know you were at lunch with them, or were you just standing behind them awkwardly? Just, no, no, they did. They, they walked out of the venue, and they were like, and we we're like, oh, so they met us, and they signed our stuff, and they're like, you want to go t- go to Quiznos with us? And we're like, sure. Did you so have to pay did. for their lunch? No, they bought us lunch. That's awesome. And we were like, what is happening? So, yeah, but then, like, I swear to God, by the end of that concert, we were frozen. I probably, I think I got a cold for, like, three weeks after that. Because it was probably at least 13 hours in line. And then, like you say, yeah, once you get to the front, you can't move. So you're just stuck there wet. Ah. Oh, someone just texted and Steve, I have a question for you. How often do two of your absolute favorite things in the world come together? The answer is not often. So when Pearl Jam puts out a Kraken jersey, you freaking buy it. Yes. This is the voice of reason right here. That text is going to be popping into my head as, as tonight goes by and I'm walking by and I see that jersey. And if the line's not too long or if I accidentally realize that the line's on the other end, I still, no, I'm kidding. I won't, I won't cut the line. <laughs> buy it. Buy our our it. buddy Jake from Potsdam just said, I just drove by the arena doing deliveries for work and it's absolute mayhem already. It is 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> Well, like we mentioned, there's like, I still want to play that audio of that guy one more time. The guy that's been like camped out for a couple of nights waiting to get in so he could get a good spot in the general admission. And this was his reason behind why he's waiting in line because of the Pearl Jam experience. The proximity is a little intoxicating in that like you're garnering more information, but you're also kind of closer to the vortex of like the energy, like where it all starts. Do you think he's messing with the reporter? Or was he already on acid? This is a guy that's been to 250 shows. I think I think he's being serious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you think the reporter's like, I don't know what you just said, sir. Thank you and good night. But good luck in the vortex. <laughs> good luck to everyone in the lines tonight. It's going to be great, man. Um, Tara and I are going to be there. Be sure to say hi if you see us. It's going to be a party. Rockaholics, how would you like to beat Steve on Pearl Jam morning? He is currently 139 wins, 37 losses, and 20 ties in 2024. 206-803-ROCK. We're going to play Beat Migs at 750. The Daily Migs Start your summer road trip at Midas and get up to $30 off your next repair service. Plus, get a free closer look vehicle check to make sure your road trip ready. So if you need a brake service, an alignment check, or tune-up, hit up Midas for up to $30 off. For more details, request your appointment at Midas.com. Welcome to Nada Yada Island. This season on Nada Yada Island. When we were new, they spoiled me. They even gave me a phone. But then, it's like I didn't exist. Don't take yada yada from your wireless carrier. Now with Metro, get that new customer feeling again and again. 
Introducing Metroflex. Free 5G phones when you join, same deals as new customers when you stay. Only at Metro by T-Mobile. Just bring your number and ID and sign up for an eligible plan. After 12 months, trade in and get our best deals on select devices. Are you a fan of mystery and adventure? Introducing June's Journey, the captivating free-to-play mobile game that will ignite your inner detective. Play as June Parker in a thrilling murder mystery adventure as you search for hidden objects to uncover the truth behind her sister's death. Step into the glamorous world of the Roaring Twenties with stunningly illustrated scenes and over a thousand mysteries to unravel. With new chapters added weekly, you'll never run out of clues to chase and suspects to interrogate. Plus, you can build your own island escape with beautiful gardens and buildings and even join a detective club to collaborate with other players. Experience the thrill of being a detective and unravel the mystery in June's Journey. Download June's Journey now on your Android or iOS device or play on PC through Facebook games. Start your summer road trip at Midas and get up to $30 off your next repair service. Plus, get a free closer look vehicle check to make sure you're road trip ready. So if you need a brake service and alignment check or tune-up, hit up Midas for up to $30 off. For more details, request your appointment at Midas.com. Are you a fan of mystery and adventure? Introducing June's Journey the captivating free-to-play mobile game that will ignite your inner detective. Play as June Parker in a thrilling murder mystery adventure as you search for hidden objects to uncover the truth behind her sister's death. Step into the glamorous world of the Roaring Twenties with stunningly illustrated scenes and over a thousand mysteries to unravel. With new chapters added weekly, you'll never run out of clues to chase and suspects to interrogate. Plus, you can build your own island escape with beautiful gardens and buildings and even join a detective club to collaborate with other players. Experience the thrill of being a detective and unravel the mystery in June's Journey. Download June's Journey now on your Android or iOS device or play on PC through Facebook games. Welcome to Nada Yada Island. This season on Nada Yada Island. When we were new, they spoiled me. They even gave me a phone. But then, it's like I didn't exist. Don't take yada yada from your wireless carrier. Now with Metro, get that new customer feeling again and again. Introducing Metro Flex. Free 5G phones when you join, same deals as new customers when you stay. Only at Metro by T-Mobile. Just bring your number and ID and sign up for an eligible plan. After 12 months, trade in and get our best deals on select devices. The Daily Mix Show presents the most popular radio game on this side of the speaker. Let's play Beat Mix. Beat Mix, don't be a loser. to be me. I know Eric from Tacoma is. Eric, are you there? I'm here. I'm Sarah, your host, and it's time for you to get out of here, Steve. Bye-bye. For those playing at home, Eric has 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. You can pass all you want, but you only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? I'm ready. According to the slogan, the best part of waking up is what in your cup? Folder. Correct. In which decade did the Berlin Wall fall? The 90s. No. 80s. Correct. Bill Walton was famous for playing what sport? Bill Walsh? Walton. Uh, Basketball. Correct. Who was the lead singer of The Doors? Jim Morrison. Yes. The human body is mostly made up of four elements. Hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and what? Uh, Water. No. O2. No. Uh, pass. What late businessman said the only way to do great work is to love what you do? Uh, Steve Jobs. Correct. Who plays the title character in the comedy Nacho Libre? Jack Black. Yes. In which U.S. state was bourbon whiskey first produced? Kentucky. Yes. How many movies have Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling been in together? Two. No. Three. Three? One. Yes. Is that Do the I give it to him? I think you give it to him. All right, I'm giving it to you, Eric. Which yeah. means you got eight correct. E rock. E rock rocks. E rock on the block. Gosh, I have faith. I have faith. 
Ooh. Some good questions, though, Sarah. Yeah? Yeah. Steve, are you ready? Yes! According to the slogan, the best part of waking up is what in your cup? Ah, uh, Folgers. <laughs> yes. I don't know why I got so excited. Ah. In which decade did the Berlin Wall fall? I don't even remember the last time I had a Folgers or if I've ever had Folgers. What? We should, we should get some. Yeah, I have some at home. 80s? Correct. Bill Walton was famous for playing what sport? Basketball. Yes. Who was the lead singer of The Doors? Jim Morrison. Correct. May he rest in peace. The human body is mostly made up of four elements. Hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and what? Water. No. Methane. No. Fun. (laughs) No. (laughs) What late businessman said the only way to do great work is to love what you do? Oh, uh, that would have to be Jenna Jameson. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Steve Jobs? Correct. Who plays the title character in the comedy Nacho Libre? Jack Black. Yes. In which U.S. state was bourbon whiskey first produced? Tennessee. No. Oh. Kentucky. Yes. How many movies have Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling been in together? Two. No. Three. Correct. Yeah. Which Asian country has the highest number of citizens over 65? China. (gasps) No. (sighs) And without getting that correct, you got eight correct, which is another tie. Come on. Eight to eight. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Nope, I'm not kidding. <laughs> wow. I loved, I loved Eric's little shot of enthusiasm. Woo! Yeah. That's right. You know, a tie is better than losing. It so. is. Uh, the human Woo! body is mostly made up of hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and. Men's room IPA. <laughs> Maybe your body. Vodka. <laughs> Nitrogen. Oh. Nitrogen. Yes. And in which Asian country has the highest number of citizens over 65? It's Japan. Mm. Congratulations again on another tie, Steve. What if you're going to tie out the whole day? Oh, I hope not. (laughs) Stay tuned, Rockaholics. A member of our show had a massive scare over the weekend, and it involved goats. I think you might be able to figure out who this happened to, but we are going to talk about it after Green Day. The Daily Mix Show. The Daily Mix Show. As we know, city folks just don't get it. City folks just (laughs) don't get it. It happens all the time farm drama and I had a little bit of farm drama over the weekend that was so stressful that my adrenaline has still not completely come down from the drama. What I love about this drama is that as you're telling us uh, about it uh, over like messages and stuff and this morning we were kind of like just kind of chatting it up the three of us just looked at you like this is something that none of us have ever experienced. No. So and and let me preface this by saying I've learned many hard lessons on on my little hobby farm. I did not grow up a farm girl so much, but I've become one over the years. Did you become a farm person? You didn't become a, a farm person because of your husband. Well, kind of. We rented a place. We rented from a lady in Bellingham that lived on about eight acres. And she okay. had horses and, and animals and a garden and all this stuff. And I always, after that, wanted to live on land and have critters and do the whole thing. So your parents were not farm people. We had chickens. And my brother at one point raised pigs. But we never really had like a ton, huge ton of space or anything like that. that. In my world, that's farm people. <laughs> if you have a chicken, you're a farm person. Okay, so one maybe a chicken, little bit. If you have more than one chicken, then you're a full on. To me, that, that's like you're a full on farm. But no one in my family had ever had goats before. That was the thing that I became obsessed with, and I had to make it happen, and here we are. So we've had goat drama. They've gotten out before. You know, there's all sorts of things that happen with goats. They're a little bit of a Houdini species that they just, they get into things. They can get into trouble. You got to keep keep a good watch on them. So I had to... uh, girlfriend came over yesterday for a dog and kid play date and our children were running around and our dogs were frolicking and everything is good but we kept hearing this funny noise and it didn't (laughs) it wasn't quite that but it was something coming from the goat pen and I thought well I have to go and investigate what this is so as I'm walking I finally get in the line of sight to where I can see that our goat ginger is hanging by her horns from the feeding net. So we have a net that you can pack full of hay and it hangs on a big hook way up off of the, the roof of the pen. And she th- there's no food in it and she is tangled in it, hanging by her horns. So her bottom feet, her, her back hooves are on the ground, but her front hooves are up in the air and she is completely freaking out. Do you have any idea of why that ended that? Like, was, was she trying to climb 
than that? I mean, I that doesn't make any sense to me. It could have been that she and the other goat were like wrestling and her horns just got a little tangled in it. And then as she tried to get herself out, things just got worse and worse. Bottom line is the, the, the hay feeder has been thrown away and we'll never be using it again. But I start screaming bloody murder for Brad. And okay. my friend that's theirs, she's also going like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So I had Snips in the barn and I grabbed him. Snips and, I just, and, oh, I thought that was the name of another <laughs> goat. I was like... <laughs> Like, you know, like, like little scissors? clippers. Yeah, like scissors. I have snips in the hay barn, so I run over there. Are they there. called snips, or is that just, like, like farm lingo? <laughs> I guess they're, I mean, I guess you call them snips, yeah. I've never heard of anyone yeah, saying anything. Yeah, snips. All right. So I'm cutting, 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 and I get the, I get her down, and she just, I mean, I could feel her. She was shaking. She was very scared. And I'm like, mama's got you, baby girl. You're going to be okay. And I, it happened so fast. I actually got her unsnipped, unstuck. Before Brad could even get there. That's how fast I was working. But let me tell you, my heart was in my stomach. I, I, I'm like, can, can the horns rip out of their head? I don't know. And again, farm lesson that I learned, probably don't have a netted feeder if you have a goat with horns. Well, I would never have thought that a, a goat would try and work its way up to where it would be hanging from it. Though. No, and when I first saw her, I thought she was hanging by her, like, by her neck. That was oh the thing that gosh. really scared me. You guys, it was wild. That's cr- how, much that, how much does that, that goat weigh? She probably weighs about 60 pounds. Oh. Maybe, yeah, 60, 60 pounds. I was expecting her to be a lot heavier than that. Yeah, well, too. then our big goat, though, he's like probably over 100. He's probably close to 120. Yeah, I thought at least that most of the goats are like a couple hundred pounds. They just look thick. Well, yeah, she's, she's, <laughs> she's thick, but she's short. She's like squatty, you know? She's like a mini goat? Well, she's a Nigerian dwarf Nubian cross. Well, it's got the word dwarf in it, so she's a so mini. She's, yeah, the, the Nigerian dwarves are one of the smaller breeds, but the Nubian in her makes her a little bit bigger. Where did you find this goat? I adopted her from Center Valley Animal Rescue in Quilcene, Washington. Took that goat on a boat. Oh. You had to take the ferry. From, to Nigeria? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We picked her up, picked her up, had to put her in a dog crate and take her on the ferry back home. <laughs> it was great. City folks just don't. Did you get some weird looks from people while you're on the ferry with this goat? Well, people at first are walking by, like, looking to see if there's a dog in there. And then they realize, oh, God, that's not a dog. That's a goat. That's a freaking goat. I bet kids were pretty fired up, though. <gasps> oh, yeah. And Ginger's okay, everyone. And that hay feeder, I'll never buy another netted hay feeder ever again. So Lesson what do you learned. get now instead of that? Well, you know, we've had a couple different ones. And, and, and we have some that we've built out of, like, trash cans. So you can throw the you can throw the, the feed into the trash can, put the lid on it, and it has, like, a couple little holes that they can pull the food out from. I'm never going to complain about how to feed my dog. Like, this sounds like a lot of effort. <laughs> Farm life is not for everyone. I just got to scoop some food, put it in a bowl, and I'm good. <laughs> Great news for Seattle fans of baseball. The Mariners are in first place currently, but that's not the only thing they are number one in. The other thing has led to Mariners fans making fun of themselves on social media. We're going to go straight to the comments at 820. The Daily Migs Show. Look around. You can find cars like these on Auto Trader, like that car riding right your tail. Or if you're tailgating right now, all those cars doubling as kitchens and living rooms are on Auto Trader too. Are you working out and listening to this ad at the same time? Well, multitasking pro, cars like the ones in the gym parking lot are for sale on Auto Trader. New cars, used cars, electric cars, maybe even flying cars. Okay, no flying cars, but as soon as they get invented, they'll be on Auto Trader. Just you wait. Auto Trader. Are you a fan of mystery and adventure? Introducing June's Journey, the captivating free-to-play mobile game that will ignite your inner detective. Play as June Parker in a thrilling murder mystery adventure as you search for hidden objects to uncover the truth behind her sister's death. Step into the glamorous world of the Roaring Twenties with stunningly illustrated scenes and over a thousand mysteries to unravel. With new chapters added weekly, you'll never run out of clues to chase and suspects to interrogate. Plus, you can build your own island escape with beautiful gardens and buildings and even join a detective club to collaborate with other players. Experience the thrill of being a detective and unravel the mystery in June's Journey. Download June's Journey now on your Android or iOS device or play on PC through Facebook games. Welcome to Nada Yada Island. This season on Nada Yada Island. When we were new, they spoiled me. They even gave me a phone. But then, it's like I didn't exist. Don't take yada yada from your wireless carrier. 
Now with Metro, get that new customer feeling again and again. Introducing Metro Flex. Free 5G phones when you join, same deals as new customers when you stay. Only at Metro by T-Mobile. Just bring your number and ID and sign up for an eligible plan. After 12 months, trade in and get our best deals on select devices. Everyone knows social media is a time suck. And what you're about to hear proves it. If it's online, someone, somewhere, has an opinion and is whining about it. So let's get straight to the comments. There's a podcast called Talking Baseball, and guess what? They talk about baseball. <laughs> I hope so. But they'd be great. They just did all football, and that's it. <laughs> Tricked you. So they were talking about a list of the least annoying baseball fan bases. And here are the top three. Name that least annoying fan bases, according to 1,000 surveys. Orioles. They are number three on the list. The Royals? The Royals are number two on the list. I'm trying to think of like pleasant interactions I've had. Mariners. The Mariners are number one yes. on the list. Yeah. Jolly Seattle. Olive. Let's go, Seattle. <laughs> number one in your hearts. We are the best at not being annoying. So, of course, this led to some great comments on social media, and that means we have to go straight to the comments. Yeah, we saw the post, a couple of posts where they had this video and some of the comments from Mariners fans making fun of themselves are just priceless. So we sent them to Jason, a.k.a. Veggie Dog, a.k.a. VD, our production director, and said, pull out some of your favorite ones and reenact them in whatever voice you want. Just to, just to point out how crazy social media gets over the dumbest things. So, Tyron Daly... Are you ready for your first comment about the Mariners being the least annoying fan base? I cannot wait. Here we go. What an accomplishment. Knowing the Mariners organization will probably hang a banner for this. Yeah, we will. Yes, this weekend they're actually going to be raising the banner. The least annoying fan base in all of baseball. All right, here's our next comment. The Mariners finally rank number one in something. I mean, they are first place. Cut them some slack. This is our year. This is definitely our year. We're unstoppable. We're uh, too socially awkward to be annoying. <laughs> oh, we have a voice like that, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. If the Mariners ever get a championship, I promise we're all going to be as annoying as every Seahawks fan you've ever met. Bring it on. Another Hell line. yeah. I agree with that statement. Oh, it's going to be insufferable. <laughs> Whenever that moment comes, I mean, it's just been years of pent up frustration. When this team wins the World Series, I don't oh. know if we'll be alive when it happens. Let's hope it does happen this year. But when it does happen, oh man, people are going to go crazy. Mm-hmm. It's going to be awesome. Mariners fans on TV are always happy people drinking beers in the standing room only section of the bleachers. Seems chill. Yeah, the pen. That's where we all hang out. Yeah, he's kind of right. People just go to drink and be social. I don't even think people care about the games. That's, I can't tell you how many Mariners games I've been to where I forgot the score when I left because I was being too social. <laughs> Did we win? I don't know. You were Usually at the no. game. I'm not sure. Let me check the internet. Only time I'm ever going to see the M's win anything in my lifetime. In first place. Let's not forget this, I people. Believe. Here's another comment about the Mariners being voted. The least annoying fan base. Because us Mariners fans have had nothing to cheer for for 20 f***ing years. No lies detected. We have one more comment about the Mariners. You ready? Yes. I don't know if Mariners fans even know they exist. (laughs) Brutal. I do love the self-deprecation from the Mariners fans on that whole post. Can I also read you a comment on this post? Someone wanted to say what the top five most annoying fan bases are in baseball. All right. I got to think like Yankees are up there. Red Sox. Number one, Astros. Okay. Yep. Number two, Houston. Number sure. three, Houston Astro- Astros. Number four, the Astros with two S's. I, I, get, I get where they're going. With Number this five, now. the Astros of Houston. I kind of understand what they're trying to say. <laughs> they play tonight, don't they? Yeah, game two of the series, baby. I'm going. But you're going what? tonight to the game? Yes. So I get to see how annoying the, the Astros are. Or you might aren't. get to see how annoying the Pearl Jam fans are, too. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> going to be out and about all throughout the city tonight, Sarah. It's going to be wild. That's going to be awesome. Are you, yeah. are you fired up? I am. you know where you're sitting? Uh, no idea. I'm going for a girl's birthday. There's going to be like 20 of us. You almost sound like this last commenter. I don't know if Mariners fans even know they exist. <laughs> nope. I have a Mariners sweatshirt, so I'm going to fit in, though. 
I think Luis Castillo's on the mound, so hopefully he pitches another good game. Yes. Love him, I think. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what position he plays? Uh, he's a pitcher. Okay, I was going to say, I literally <laughs> just said it. If you got that wrong, I might have lost it. <laughs> Well, speaking of sports fans, many are mourning the loss of NBA Hall of Famer Bill Walton, who died of cancer yesterday. For many, he will be remembered for being fond of talking about holes. How so? We're going to tell you after the Smashing Pumpkins. The Daily, the Daily Lake Show. Yesterday, NBA Hall of Famer Bill Walton died. He had been battling cancer. I did not know that. I did not know he had cancer. No, 71. I didn't either. And, uh, and everybody has been... You know, just coming and telling amazing stories and paying tribute. He was such a beloved commentator. And I love, I mean, people in Portland especially, oh, have yeah. nothing but love for that guy. I think he was the number one pick for them way, way, way back in the day. And he was a big part of why they were able to win that one championship that they got. Back in 2019, he kept using the term the honey hole <laughs> during the game. This. And so his co-commentator, Dave Pash, asked Bill to explain a little bit. And this became that iconic moment for him. If he can handle it, there's the honey hole. Then you're going to have a, a chance to come up with a whole different variety of offensive attack. Why don't you explain that that term? What is the honey hole? A honey hole is a long-term basketball phrase where it's right at the free throw line area. That's where the honey is, right? right? We were talking about Winnie the Pooh. It all rolls into one, right? You're looking for the, the honey. So you get to the honey hole, and then good things happen. I think it means something different on Urban Dictionary. It's true words have never been spoken. You get to the honey hole, and good things will happen. I think at that point, people were like, what the hell is this guy smoking? And then, of course, on top of that, he's a massive deadhead and wears tie-dye t-shirts. He's really not hiding he's blowing his cover left and right when it comes to it this guy sounds like a stoner i saw a photo posted today and it was revealed in the comment section that he went to over a thousand grateful dead shows a thousand a thousand and they would pull him up on stage they had him dress up in different costumes and things like that you know he stands up in the crowd and he stands out like kind of sticks out because he's so you know was so gigantic but yeah massive deadhead I will say that the first definition on urban dictionary is actually not bad of <laughs> honey hole yeah <laughs> A it, place, can you read it? Uh, yeah. A place full of amazing stuff, antiques, signs, etc. that pickers dream about. Hmm. And it's a, there's a sandwich shop I, in Seattle called The Honey And Hole. they do make a great san- they make, sandwich. Make a great sandwich. It's they just do. a great term. It don't is. Don't go to the next one, though. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> That'll be an off-air conversation. How, so, a thousand concerts. What band have you seen the most? I'm nowhere near a thousand concerts for even like even even if I included the bands that I was playing in. I don't think we ever I couldn't even come close to even hitting triple digits. Pearl Jam is definitely up there as we're going tonight. It will continue to rise. What number but is that for you? I think it might be seven for me tonight. Okay. But I and I think Rush was about seven. Primus and Bad Religion, I think I've seen both of those bands over ten times. Mm. Damn, yeah. Pearl Jam might be Harvey Danger when they were around because my band used to play with them, and then I would also go see them when they were when I first moved out here. They were like the band to go see. Like we would always just go check them out. So I probably saw them, you know, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen times at minimum. Nice. Uh, Pearl Jam, I, I I'm bad with the exact number. I wish I was as good as some of my friends who have it down. Like my buddy Craig, yeah. he just celebrated his one hundredth time seeing Pearl Jam, which I was like, that's amazing. That's very impressive. And I remember at the last time I went with him was at the home shows. And I was talking to some dude. I thought we were close. I'm like, oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm right behind. He goes, how many times have you seen them? I'm like, I think it's like 12 or 13 times. He goes, no, I said I've seen them 119 times, not 19 times. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm not coming anywhere near that. And my favorite is the, the, the folks that have done that when they wear all the lanyards and things like yeah. that from the, from the current tour. So I'm excited to see those Pearl Jams out in Pearl Jam fans out in full force. Tonight. And we heard earlier there was a guy driving from, like, the Milwaukee who's now coming up on, like, 250-something times he's seen the band. But still pales in comparison to a thousand times by Bill Walton. There was a time that you said you cried at Pearl Jam. Was that with Thrill? Yeah, but we were really messed up. Are you going to cry tonight? Would you cry tonight, maybe? No, because I work tomorrow, so and I'm driving, so I'm going to be very sober when I see oh. them. I might cry because the, the concert's going to go past 11 o'clock. Yeah. And I don't want to bail because Pearl Jam, part of why I love them, but on a night like tonight, maybe I'm a little bummed, is that they don't always do the same songs, and I'm seeing them Thursday as well, so... I don't want to leave, and then they end up playing some of my favorite Pearl Jam songs, and I see on the set list that I missed out on seeing, like, you know, State of Love and Trust or Present oh. Tense or something along those lines. I'd be so mad at myself. It's a fluid strategy. We'll figure out an exit strategy for you. Yeah, with and tears. Me. Yeah, it's so late. <laughs> I got to get up in the morning. Danny, who have you seen the most? Probably Newfound Glory. 
I don't know how many times I've seen them, but it's over 30. Really? Whoa. Yeah. And it's like, but I they're feel, not even your favorite band. No, I, I mean, they're up there, top five for sure. But yeah, they just tour so much. And, ah, and yeah. they would, you know, they were one of the early bands that would come to Albuquerque because a lot, we didn't get a lot of bands that would come to Albuquerque. They would always skip over us. So it was like when Newfound Glory started coming, they came a ton. And they like came with every from New Mexico will constantly come and see us. We every should, we should play. New, yeah, we should play Albuquerque. <laughs> he buys all the merch. He sings along. We should yes. get. We should go. Yes. What about you, Sarah? I have no idea. I was going to say really sad. I'm, I'm just getting into the whole go to concerts type of thing. The older I get, and the more I think like my life is just gonna not end but you know if i I have like a child and stuff i you know i'm like afraid it's gonna slow down so i'm like i want to see and do all the things now so your life's gonna end when you have a kid (laughs) (laughs) do you need to tell us something that we don't know about (laughs) (laughs) yeah so i'm like just about you know starting to go to a bunch of concerts now oh i know what it is what? She's seen DJ Danny V or Saddy V as you call him at emo oh, night. You're the not most. a band. <laughs> I you mean, jump count. up and down like you're in a band. I know. Quick true. correction. My friend Craig just texted me. He hasn't seen him 100 times, just 40 times. Oh, my bad. Sorry, Craig. <laughs> 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 Only 40 times? Why are we even friends? <laughs> That's it's ridiculous. I'm, a, I'm taking my buddy who has never been to a rock concert. And I'm taking him tonight. Nice. And I did not know that until I met. I, I invited him. And he goes, this is going to be my first ever rock concert. And as far as rock concerts go, this will set the bar so high for him. Or so low if he doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Rockaholics, how would you like to beat Steve? We're waiting for it. He's had two ties so far really? today. And his record is 139 wins, 37 losses, and 21 ties in 2024. 206-803-ROCK. We will play Beat Migs at 850. <laughs> The Daily Mix Show. Start your summer road trip at Midas and get up to $30 off your next repair service. Plus, get a free closer look vehicle check to make sure you're road trip ready. So if you need a brake service and alignment check or tune-up, hit up Midas for up to $30 off. For more details, request your appointment at Midas.com. Welcome to Nada Yada Island. This season on Nada Yada Island. When we were new, they spoiled me. They even gave me a phone. But then, it's like I didn't exist. Don't take yada yada from your wireless carrier. Now with Metro, get that new customer feeling again and again. Introducing Metro Flex. Free 5G phones when you join, same deals as new customers when you stay. Only at Metro by T-Mobile. Just bring your number and ID and sign up for an eligible plan. After 12 months, trade in and get our best deals on select devices. Are you a fan of mystery and adventure? Introducing June's Journey, the captivating free-to-play mobile game that will ignite your inner detective. Play as June Parker in a thrilling murder mystery adventure as you search for hidden objects to uncover the truth behind her sister's death. Step into the glamorous world of the Roaring Twenties with stunningly illustrated scenes and over a thousand mysteries to unravel. With new chapters added weekly, you'll never run out of clues to chase and suspects to interrogate. Plus, you can build your own island escape with beautiful gardens and buildings and even join a detective club to collaborate with other players. Experience the thrill of being a detective and unravel the mystery in June's Journey. Download June's Journey now on your Android or iOS device or play on PC through Facebook games. Welcome to Nada Yada Island. This season on Nada Yada Island. When we were new, they spoiled me. They even gave me a phone. But then... It's like I didn't exist. Don't take yada yada from your wireless carrier. Now with Metro, get that new customer feeling again and again. Introducing Metro Flex. Free 5G phones when you join, same deals as new customers when you stay. Only at Metro by T-Mobile. Just bring your number and ID and sign up for an eligible plan. After 12 months, trade in and get our best deals on select devices. Look around. You can find cars like these on AutoTrader. New cars, used cars, electric cars, maybe even flying cars. Okay, no flying cars, but as soon as they get invented, they'll be on Auto Trader. Just you wait. Auto Trader. Are you a fan of mystery and adventure? Introducing June's Journey, the captivating free to play mobile game that will ignite your inner detective. Play as June Parker in a thrilling murder mystery adventure as you search for hidden objects to uncover the truth behind her sister's death. Step into the glamorous world of the Roaring Twenties with stunningly illustrated scenes and over a thousand mysteries to unravel. With new chapters added weekly, 
you'll never run out of clues to chase and suspects to interrogate. Plus, you can build your own island escape with beautiful gardens and buildings and even join a detective club to collaborate with other players. Experience the thrill of being a detective and unravel the mystery in June's Journey. Download June's Journey now on your Android or iOS device or play on PC through Facebook games. The Daily Mix show presents the most popular radio game on this side of the speaker. Let's play B Mix. B Mix. I know Tabitha from Stanwood is. Tabitha, are you there? Hi. Hi. I'm Sarah, your host, and it's time for you to get out of here, Steve. Okay, bye-bye. For those playing at home, Tabitha has 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. You can pass all you want, but you'll only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? I am ready. Once you pop, you can't stop was the slogan for what snack food? Pringle. Correct. What insane in the brain group is performing at this year's Bumbershoot? Cypress Hill. Correct. Who plays Joel Goodson in the 80s movie Risky Business? Tom Cruise. Yes. How old was Tiger Woods when he became the youngest golfer to win the Masters? 19. No. 20. No. 21. Yes. Which band released the albums OK Computer and Pablo Honey? Radiohead. Yes. Which of the seven continents is the largest? Asia. Yes. What's the name of the dinosaur from the Toy Story movie franchise? Rex. Yes. Ghost, Bang, and Celsius are all types of what drink? Energy drink. Yes. What is the capital of Alaska? Juno. Yes. What animal was Yoda originally supposed to be? A wombat? No. <laughs> <laughs> what animal was Yoda originally supposed to be? Oh, no. Um... Oh, Tabitha, you got nine correct. That's my girl, Stanwood, represent me. Nice. Woo! I really thought she was about to get a perfect 10. Oh. I hope that's not the difference maker because me that too. was a phenomenal yeah. showing. This is basically Stanwood bragging rights on the line. Oh. Stanwood bragging rights on the line. No pressure. Steve? Are you ready? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Once you pop, you can't stop was the slogan for what snack food? Pringles. Correct. What insane in the brain group is performing at this year's Bumbershoot? Crazy insane. Do, do, do. Cypress Hill. Yes. Who played Joel Goodson in the 80s movie Risky Business? Is that Tom Cruise? Sure is. How old was Tiger Woods when he became the youngest golfer to win the Masters? 32? No. 30? No. 25. No. Damn it. Which band released the albums OK Computer and Pablo Honey? Uh, um, Radiohead. Correct. I feel like I'm disgusted with them. I do which, love Radiohead. Just there. Which of the seven continents is the largest? Which is seven? I'm going to go with Europe. No. Um, Asia. Yes. What's the name of the dinosaur from the Toy Story movie franchise? Dino? No. Rar? No. <laughs> T Tyrone? No. <laughs> Ghost, Bang, and Celsius are all types of what drink? Energy. Correct. What is the capital of Alaska? Anchorage. No. Juno. Correct. What animal was Yoda originally supposed to be? A kangaroo. No. What? You said that with such confidence. Yeah, I have no idea. They have pouches and Yoda kind of like a little pouchy thing. I don't know. Does he? I don't know. He's got like a clo he's got he clothes has, he has with pockets. pockets. Yeah. Steve? You got seven correct, which is a loss. Nine to seven. Yeah. Let's Stanwood. go tell the phone. Yeah, the Steve starting sucks. to dislike Stanwood. <laughs> two, wow. ties, two ties and a win and, uh, and oh. a loss, actually. So how are you feeling there, Steve? Yeah, Dad, you know what? We, I, let, I let our team down. But, you know, tomorrow's a new day. We'll come back stronger. The bats will be alive. You know what? I have some thing to recommend to you. Retail therapy. Retail get therapy. That, get that. Kraken Pearl Jam hockey yeah. jersey tonight. You, Danny, <laughs> and all the texters are going to make me go broke and put me in the doghouse with the wife ski. Sarah, what say you? Oh, definitely get everything. For get sure. everything. Everything. One of everything. What, like a babe? I just dropped four or $500 on Pearl Jam merch? Yes, this is 
is your favorite band. They'll still be my favorite band with or without these You're going to regret not. You're going to see people walking down the street with them, with everything, and you're going to be jealous. You will never <laughs> not regret that. If you just I like how you're like feeling yourself. I was. Like, I didn't realize the jersey sexual. would make that happen for me. <laughs> yeah, maybe I need it. I I just don't know. What do you think they're going to charge for this jersey? Ooh. Probably like 200 bucks. Yeah, definitely know. over two. Or 150 at the minimum. I think 250 You think? Uh, yeah, 100%. Well, because the, they did the basketball jersey for Portland, and that was like 85 bucks. And this is a full hockey jersey, and it looks like it's stitched and everything. It looks pretty legit. Mm-hmm. If it's a full replica, I'm going 250 But yeah. if, if it's not, if it's just kind of like, a, you know, more screen printed, I'd say about 175 So I probably should set a price. That's usually how I do things. I'm like, if it's at this price or less, I'll get it. 400 No. <laughs> let's not get crazy, Danny. I'd say if it's at 150 or less, I'll get it. Okay. Mm. Is that fair? And wear it tomorrow. Well, yeah. If I get you it, get I'm wearing it. it every day for the rest of my <laughs> life. Gotta get your money's worth. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Tonight... The Big Pearl Jam show is at Climate Pledge Arena again on Thursday. Many fans are coming from all over the country to see these shows. And there's one guy that flew all the way from South Australia to see them both of the nights. We are going to chat with Nathan from South Australia after White Snake. The Daily Mig Show. Tonight is night one of Pearl Jam at Climate Pledge Arena. And Steve, you're traveling all the way from Puyallup. I'm yep. driving back into the city from Stanwood. These are long hauls. We might be going from the fur- furthest place to get to this Pearl Jam concert at Climate Pledge Arena. No, there are people from all over the country that are in town to check out Pearl Jam. And now we're learning even people from all over the world. We have Nathan Case from South Australia on the line. Good morning, Nathan, and welcome to Seattle. Good day. Thank you. Nathan, I saw we were out, we were just looking on social media, and I was like looking at like you know Pearl Jam just released the pictures of what the merchandise is going to be for tonight's Pearl Jam show in Thursdays, and we're all just losing our minds about like the the Kraken inspired one. Some of the T shirts are just killer. The tour poster that makes them yeah. look like He Man characters is also great. And I saw you posted a comment saying that you're coming all the way from South Australia, and I was like, oh, we got to talk to Nathan and just see what this experience has been like for you so far. Well, it's early. I mean, I uh, only arrived late, late last night, so it was like 23 hours of flying to get here. Um, yeah, Adelaide to Sydney, Sydney, LA, and then LA to Seattle. So it's amazing so far. I mean, I've just this morning been out walking around the city, having a look down at the arena, just getting ready for the show. <laughs> so, And you're going to both shows, right? Yep, absolutely. It's been a, a life dream. So I've, I've recently... I'm a bit of a super fan. I've had my whole whole leg tattooed, Pearl Jam. Um, yeah, and then to be here for both shows, it's just unbelievable. So is this the furthest that you've traveled to see the band? Oh, I, I, well, I don't, I don't think I could have traveled any further. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've traveled before to see them as well or if this is the first time like, you're like, you know what, I'm leaving Australia, I'm going to see Pearl Jam oh, in Seattle. You know yeah, 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 from, from Adelaide to Seattle. I mean, next, uh, at the end of the year... So they're in New Zealand and then Australia. So I'll go to every show there. That's that's seven shows. Wow. Um, I'll follow them from show to show. But yeah, this is the furthest for sure. Are you going to be one of those fans? I always love when I go to a Pearl Jam concert. They're my favorite band, so I'm excited that that you're even here for this. I, I think that's such a, such a cool story. But I always yeah. love being there when you see people holding up like their country's flag mm-hmm. to let Pearl Jam know I came from this place. Do you have like a South Australian flag that you're going to wave at the show? I've got the Aussie flag with me, so it'll t- tonight it'll be more towards the back. But uh, Thursday night, I'm in the the the, the front um, in the circle there, so they'll, they'll see it. Oh, that's awesome! So, aside from seeing the bands while you're here, is there anything on your Seattle bucket list that you that you want to do? And can we help add a couple things to it, possibly? Well, I mean, at the end, of the day, I'm just here to try and see everything Pearl Jam. I'm I'm here for seven days, so. I just want to. I've got a list of things like the Showbox, the Royal Hall, the Off Ramp, just just anything that Pearl Jam's touched. I'm I'm just here by myself. I've left my family at home, so I'm I'm just making sure okay. I see everything I can. Before we give you suggestions, <laughs> I'm just googling where Eddie Vedder lives, and I'm just trying to see where that is. <laughs> How did you pull that off? Because I saw on your Facebook, you have a couple kids, you have a family. How are you able to say, "Hey, I'm going to leave the country to go see Pearl Jam. I'll be back in a week." I have worked my life for this, this yeah. moment. So there, there's nothing else I could possibly have thought I would want to do more than see Pearl Jam in Seattle. It's just, 
and, and I've just been fortunate enough that my life led me to this, and it's, it's unbelievable. Nathan, I do have one recommendation if you're able to pull it off. I know they do tours from time to time, but find a way to reach out to London Bridge Studios where they recorded their first record. They've done yeah. tours for Pearl Jam fans before, and it is a great experience because they'll pull up some of the audio uh, from the, the the isolated tracks from from Pearl Jam's 10. And just to be able to be in the room where they recorded it, you get to see the piano that they, they played for Pearl Jam, you know, the song Black. It is a great experience. I've just written it down. <laughs> yeah, London Bridge Studios is definitely one you should check out. Danny, you've got one? I got one for you too, man. you got to go over to West Seattle, take an Uber, and check out Easy Street Records. Eddie Vedder's been known to be there a ton of times. I'm pretty sure Pearl Jam has played there before. Yep, they have. And they have so much cool. It's a, such a cool record shop, first off, and then honestly just so much Seattle music and history there. Yeah, that was next. That was the first thing I was going to do this morning and then head back and get in line for the merch. So, um, yeah, that, that's... That I'll be there within the hour. And Nathan, out of curiosity, where are you sitting tonight, or are you standing? Are you a, are you a pit guy? Uh, no. Well, I, so tonight I'm I'm a bit more towards the back because I couldn't get uh, um, couldn't get two lots because being a Pro Jam member, I could only get one one show in the circle. So yeah, tonight it's more towards the back, but dead centre. So awesome. I, I don't really care where I am. I'm I'm in there. So uh, I'm just happy to be here. And I haven't been to a concert yet at Climate Pledge, but everybody, because it's, it's relatively a new arena, it's only a couple of years old. And but everyone had, who has been to a concert that's seen a concert at Climate Pledge says the sound is just impeccable there. So I'm excited to see. I'm going tonight and Thursday as well. Uh, <laughs> what do you spend, plan on spending the most money on as far as merch? Are you thinking about the Kraken jersey, the T-shirt, the tour posters? Because you said you're gonna you're about to jump in line for the merch as well. I will. In all honesty, I will be buying one of everything. Yeah. Steve, you got to step it up. You, I mean, yeah. I mean the merch. To be honest, my trip, the merch, the merch is cost is so little. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're right. You spent so much money. What's a couple extra hundred dollars on some of the merch? Exactly. Oh well, not even that. You know, and the posters. You know, it's the fact that I've already, I've got to make sure I get two of each so I can get them framed and on my walls. And it's just uh, that's just what Pearl Jam people do. Dude, I hope we run into you. We're in Section 113 tonight, but we'll be on the lookout for the uh, the South Australian flag, and if we find you, it would be great to just come say hi and, and grab a drink yeah. with you. Yeah, I'm going to come and see you. Awesome, dude. Rock on, Nathan. Cheers. Have fun. That's amazing. <laughs> I- I'm excited for him. Hell yeah. We know that you are a massive music fan, Rockaholics, but could you name a song after only hearing one second of the chorus? If you can prove that, you could win tickets to see Blink-182 at the Gorge on Sunday, July 14th. 206-803-ROCK. We'll play Hook or Shook at 920. The Daily Mix Show. The Daily Mix Show. Look around. You can find cars like these on Auto Trader, Like that car riding right your tail. Or if you're tailgating right now, all those cars doubling as kitchens and living rooms are on Auto Trader too. Are you working out and listening to this ad at the same time? Well, multitasking pro, cars like the ones in the gym parking lot are for sale on Auto Trader. New cars, used cars, electric cars, maybe even flying cars. Okay, no flying cars, but as soon as they get invented, they'll be on Auto Trader. Just you wait. Auto Trader. Welcome to Nada Yada Island. This season on Naughty Yada Island. When we were new, they spoiled me. They even gave me a phone. But then, it's like I didn't exist. Don't take Yada Yada from your wireless carrier. Now with Metro, get that new customer feeling again and again. Introducing Metro Flex. Free 5G phones when you join, same deals as new customers when you stay. Only at Metro by T-Mobile. Just bring your number and ID and sign up for an eligible plan. After 12 months, trade in and get our best deals on select devices. Are you a fan of mystery and adventure? Introducing June's Journey, the captivating free-to-play mobile game that will ignite your inner detective. Play as June Parker in a thrilling murder mystery adventure as you search for hidden objects to uncover the truth behind her sister's death. Step into the glamorous world of the Roaring Twenties with stunningly illustrated scenes and over a thousand mysteries to unravel. With new chapters added weekly, You'll never run out of clues to chase and suspects to interrogate. Plus, you can build your own island escape with beautiful gardens and buildings and even join a detective club to collaborate with other players. Experience the thrill of being a detective and unravel the mystery in June's Journey. Download June's Journey now on your Android or iOS device or play on PC through Facebook games. 
Daily Mix Show presents the Extreme Music Showdown. Let's play hook or shook. Please sign this waiver before we continue. Thank you. We'll drop a one-second snippet of the hook of a song. If you can't name the song, watch out. You're going to get shook. shook. Time to play hook or shook. Danny is going to play one second of a hook from a song that he chose, and you have to guess what it is. This week, we will be playing for tickets to see Blink-182 at the Gorge on Sunday, July 14th. This morning's competitor is TJ in Olympia. Good morning, TJ. Hey, how's it going? So good. And you've got to get both of these songs right to win. The first one, you'll be on your own. The second one, this is where you can get shook as a member of our show at random, has to get it right for you. If not, you will lose and caller nine will get the prize instead. So let's see who you will be playing with this morning. Me, Migs, or Sarah. Spin the wheel. There goes that digital wheel. Just passed your name, my name, Taryn. Nope. It's landing on everybody's favorite. Sarah. Let's go. You got this. I have faith, Sarah. He he sounded a little confident in you. A little. (laughs) TJ, are you ready for your first clip? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh. Um, audio slave. Wait, wait, wait. Don't say it. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> As he already said it. No, he didn't. Rewind. Fine. He didn't say the E on it. He said it more. It was a question. It wasn't a statement. Okay. Sarah, oh. Sarah is poised to give you a hint. You owe it to yourself to let Sarah at least try and help yeah, let's, you win. Let's do it. Yeah. They are performing tonight and on Thursday. The band. <sighs> TJ. Girl. Come on. Jam? Yes. Say, rhymes with okay, we got we got the band. Now we need the song. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I know the song. I know the song. Oh. I, I don't know the name of it. Really. Uh, Sarah can help. Man. Oh yeah. 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 It's like they only say it over and over. <laughs> <laughs> you, never, you never know. You know. No, I know. You're right. You're absolutely right. It's definitely not audio slave, though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, you're right. You're right. It almost sounded like Chris Cornell for a second. You know what the funny part is? After you said that and then Danny played it again, I'm like, I can kind of hear that. Oh, yeah. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's Sarah's turn. What was your hint going to be? Well, I was going to do that the, the second word is oh. the opposite of a woman. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, like, the opposite of a worst woman would be a... Uh... <laughs> That's what I, that's where my brain went on opposite okay. day. Yeah. 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 We're all in the same All time right, there. Sarah, you have to make it happen. I'm sensing a theme, possibly. Oh, I love that song. Where, oh, where could my baby be? Pearl Jam? Yes. Yeah. Last kiss. <gasps> the one song I actually know. Guess what, DJ? You just scored tickets to see Blink-182 at the Gorge on Sunday, July 14th. That is so awesome. That is my favorite band in the entire world. Let's go. That is so rad. You get to see them at the Gorge. It's going to be a blast. Right? Thank God for the game with no integrity. <laughs> Absolutely. I hope they I was, play. I was, I was almost hoping for a, uh, a rhyme. A rhyme oh. to it. <laughs> I was about to say rhymes with TJ is the band. Oh, oh PJ. PJ. Ah, hey. Not Schmerl Schmam. Schmerl Schmam. <laughs> it's Schmetter Schmam. Rockaholics, if there's something we've talked about this morning that you want to talk about, please give us a call now, 206-803-ROCK. We are going to be checking in with the Rockaholics after Sublime. The Daily Mix Show. All morning, you have sent us text messages. You have called up. And we have not had a chance to get to everyone, but the time has come. We are checking in with the Rockaholics, so please do call up if there's something you'd like to chime in on or if there's anything that we've hit on this morning that you need to talk about. 206-803-ROCK. Nick, you are on your way right now to Easy Street Records, and you're taking your daughter to Pearl Jam tonight. That is 100% correct. Uh, actually got the whole week off. Happy Pearl Jam Week, Steve. Hell yeah, happy Pearl Jam Week to you as well. Thank you. Yep, uh, taking my daughter. She's 26. Uh, last concert I took her to was Jonas Brothers when she was 11. So uh, I owe her. Um, it's her first Pearl Jam show. Uh, then I've got uh, uh, 
taking um, two, uh, my boys to the match game tomorrow night for Pearl Jam Tank Club night. Then taking my wife and two of my boys to uh, Thursday night show and then London Bridge Studio tour on Saturday for Pearl Jam. Uh, it's... Dude, it's Pearl Jam Day, man, and I will be spending all of my money on merch, absolutely. And, I was going to say, you're, you're already kind of going broke with all those tickets, but yeah, you got to buy the merch as well, right? Oh, dude, I have six kids, dude. I don't. I have no money anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a vasectomy, too. <laughs> no, I haven't. Well, that's, uh, that's all another conversation. But, Nathan, hey. how do you pick which kids to take to the Pearl Jam shows? Are you just based on which ones want to go, or is it just like... All right, so for the home shows, uh, my the oldest boy got to go because it was timed out with his birthday when the sh tickets went on sale, and so he went to... And then with this one, it was just one of those ones I put in for shows for when through 10 Club when the tickets went on sale, and I got enough to have some and then just decided more kids needed to go because they were arguing over it, so just... <sighs> I mean, you know, do what you got to do to make kids happy, right? And that's a pro move that Mick did, taking the whole week off, making it a Pearl Jam yeah, week. Absolutely. Go to Easy Street as well. Yeah, I know, we should have right? done that. I know. Tomorrow's going to be rough. Friday's going to be even rougher. You know, speaking of merch, though, by the way, it's not fully funded yet, but my mom said she would contribute $25 to your Kraken Pearl Jam jersey. Oh, good. I'm glad. The yeah. texts keep on coming in. Someone said, I'll start a GoFundMe for you. I was like, yes, please, please. That would be the worst idea ever if someone started a GoFundMe so I could get a Pearl Jam jersey. But I definitely, man, thanks, Rockaholics, and thanks to Taryn and Danny and Sarah as well. If, if I get there and the merch line is not long and, and the jersey's not, ridiculous i'm talking like if it's over 200 and something dollars i can't i can't spring for that but otherwise i think i'm going to get it you're right it, how often are you going to be able to get a pearl jam inspired seattle kraken jersey maybe never again yeah <laughs> you know the kraken are announcing a new coach today with dan bilesma they just put out the email they just sent it to all the like people who follow them or on their emo email distribution list i feel like he needs to show up to the press conference oh rocking the pearl jam inspired kraken jersey that would just endear him to everyone right so the, the the line opens today at noon, you noon. said? Noon, yeah. Wow. And that people I've heard people are already headed over there or in line for the merch. Not even for the show, just right. for the merch. So at that point, I'm like wondering, if, is it limited edition? Like, is, are they going to just run out of jerseys? I mean, but you got three days of merch sales. They must have printed a crap ton of those. I, I mean, because the T-shirts, I, I think they could probably make the adjustment. Like, if they sure. sell out of the Pearl Jam Seattle show ones, which they have a cool one that's a boom box with a space, you know, thrusting through it. But they probably have somebody that they know that it's a screen printer or they, they, they've got access to be able to make more T-shirts. Making more jerseys seems a little bit more ambitious. Like, I feel like you have to make X amount. Yeah. And whatever you sell, that's what you sell. Oof. You better go today. <laughs> well, I am going today. I'm going to a concert. <laughs> yeah, like early. I, I, I got to go home at some point. No, you don't. No? Just say screw it. Take the week off like like uh, our last caller did. Just take the week off from your family. <laughs> just, babe, I'm not I'm not your husband or a dad to Tatum for a week. I'm just gonna be Pearl Jam Steve. <laughs> Calling out. I'm doing all Pearl Jam things. I'm gonna sleep at the radio station. I'm just gonna live my life to my best. Yeah, it seems legit. Oh yeah, I'm sure she'll be more than happy about that. I don't think either of us have actual plans to sleep in the green green room, but what if we end up having a sleepover party in there? Oh, did both of us end up sleeping in the green room? Danny and Sarah show up early, wake us up. Hey, guys, hope you had fun. Let's see your jerseys. Sarah, how do we become the parents in this situation? I know, right? Yeah, What's you two, happened? Because you're not Pearl Jam fans, you've become the responsible adults in our show. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Hey, we got a text message at 206-803-ROCK. Someone said, hey, Migs, great seeing you at Oblivion and Lacey. I've never attended a wrestling event where somebody is heckled for being bald. That was awesome. Ha ha, my kids had a blast. Met a lot of great people. It was a great time. Brand new wrestling promotion in Lacey called Oblivion Pro Wrestling. And shout out to them. A lot of parents bringing their kids for the first time, having so much fun. But for some reason, all the kids did not like yours truly. And they were chanting something, weren't they? They were chanting someone something. And that something was this. I'm still recovering from the hurt, the shame. You know, being bald and being made fun of it is a form of body shaming people. I tried to get all those kids kicked out, but the referee wouldn't allow it. So it was, it was, it was a rough night for me. We'll work on rebuilding your confidence. And they were all real happy when somebody came in and punched me in the ding-a-ling, and the whole place went nuts. 
Literally. <laughs> does, does that mean you lost? No, I won. Oh. The sad thing is that's not the first or the last time I've been made fun of in a wrestling ring for being bald. I've had Vin Diesel chants. I've had Jeff Bezos chants. My favorite was when I was in Canada. I don't, I don't know this this child star, but I eventually found out who it was. Caillou. It's Never a little that. children's show with a bald kid, and he's a guest. He's just a giant pain in the ass. So everyone was chanting Caillou <gasps> at me, and I'm, the whole time I'm like, "Is that some Lord of the Rings?" <laughs> Insult that I don't know. <laughs> I love oh, that you did not know the reference. That's I amazing. had no idea, but I was like, I'm going to be mad about it regardless. So did you have to go off and Google it later? The minute I finished the match, yeah. <laughs> I went in the back and I Googled, who the hell is Caillou? And all my Canadian wrestling friends were all laughing at me like, it's this annoying little kid that's a TV show. <laughs> He's bald. I was like, Ugh. great, <laughs> thanks. Rockaholics, imagine, if you will, being at an outdoor concert and lightning strikes as the band is playing. This actually happened to one of the biggest rock bands of all time. And you're going to hear exactly what it sounded like at 950. The Daily Mix Show. The Daily Mix Show. Fans who were at the Metallica show in Munich last week were treated to a lightning strike. As the band launched into Master of Puppets. Would have been cooler if it was Ride the Lightning, but... I was just about to say the same thing. Wouldn't that have been insane? I mean, regardless, Master of Puppets and the lightning strikes. The video is crazy, but we do have some of the audio. That's not Pyro. That sounded like you. It was me. I just got my eyebrow pierced. So I was passing out during the Metallica concert. I did see some people commenting on that guy because he just yelled, whoa. And there were a few people. I hope they were joking or they were having a conversation about do people in Germany say whoa the same way as people in America? I like it. Like, what's the German word for whoa? And I'm like, I think it's just whoa. It's the same. Right. It, it translates. Right. But there were a few people that were like Marvel, like, that's so cool that they say whoa just like us. I'm like, I don't know if that's necessarily a word. No. <laughs> that sounded like pyro. It was so loud. The video was insane. Yes. I would have I would have been so excited to see something like that. That just is like a once in a bazillion chance you're gonna have that. So long as nobody got hurt, that would have been amazing. And I don't think anyone did. No. But that, yeah, I'd be thinking, this is the greatest pyro ever. They were able to figure out how to get God in on it. <laughs> Turns out, God's a huge Metallica fan. I, I could have told you that. <laughs> and he lives in Germany. The Seattle Kraken have a brand new coach, Rockaholics. We're going to tell you all about it during the Daily Migs download after the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yes, the Daily Migs show. Knowledge is power. So give us five-ish minutes and we'll give you, uh... Some interesting stuff you can talk about at work. This is the Daily Mix Download. A.K.A. the DMD. Here's your daily dose of doings happening in the world. Ryan Castle joins us in the studio, and you are also going to Pearl Jam tonight, are you? I don't think I'm going to go You're tonight. I might, tonight. I, it, look, if it, if it happens, it happens. I had not planned on going We'll tonight, see you tonight. It, it, it could very well happen. I'm definitely going on Thursday. Remember, I just went to the Portland show, too, so I'm oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. And you change the set every time. You yeah, but you know it. what? I mean, things happen. It wouldn't be the first time at, you know, 6 p.m. I was like, call my wife like, uh, I'm not coming home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can just picture Brian be drunk at the, at the Pearl Jam show tonight. I'm like, I knew you'd be here. Yeah. Well, wearing a Pearl Jam cracking jersey. It's it's entirely possible. Hey, the DMV is brought to you by Palace Lawn. Happy Pearl Jam Day for everybody. Get that sweet Pearl Jam cracking inspired jersey at the show tonight. or at the merch line that's going to be opening up relatively soon. And speaking of the Kraken, they made it official just a few minutes ago. You probably got the email. Uh, it was already... Everyone pretty much assumed that this was going to happen, but it's now official. Dan Bilesma is the new head coach. He was the guy that was coaching the Coachella Valley Firebirds, and they've been playing real well. So he already has history with the team and their, their younger players. And also he helped lead the Pittsburgh Penguins to a Stanley Cup back in 2009. So solid pickup. General Manager Ron Francis said Dan's a winner with a proven track record of developing both young and veteran talent, and his leadership will help our team as we move forward. They have a big press conference at 1030 uh, later on this morning. Let's go cracking and yeah. let's go Mariners 
Bryce Miller pitched six solid innings, allowing two runs to help the Seattle Mariners beat the Houston Astros 3-2. to two. The Mariners capitalized on a very big first inning where they scored all three runs. Munoz earned his 11th save, yes. and we held on to the lead down with the Astros. It always feels good. Word. Trash throws. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, that Mayo Maybe shirt, it turned them around, man. You're welcome. Get it at the Rock Shop at KISW.com. A <laughs> little bit of a scare for Mike Tyson fans over the weekend. Some fans are now concerned and saying he shouldn't have that fight against uh, Jake Paul on July 20th because, well, he had a medical emergency while flying from Miami to Los Angeles. Again, Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Uh, he became nauseous and dizzy, uh, apparently it's because of an ulcer flare-up, and the paramedics had to go on the plane to help him, although he's saying he's fine and he's going to be able to have the fight. And ignore any of those pictures that show him in a wheelchair. Apparently, those pictures are from a few years ago. Oh, my god! And, of course, the clickbait world that we live in now, oh, yeah. some news stories are posting that picture being like, Mike Tyson experienced a medical emergency. Even the guy he's fighting, Jake Paul's like, those pictures are BS. Mike is fine. Mike Tyson. I don't want Mike Tyson to hit me from a wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want, even with an ulcer flare-up, I don't want to fight Mike, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson hits you, you end up in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> a 14-year-old was arrested by Washington State Patrol after driving a stolen vehicle erratically, leading police on a chase from Seattle to Redmond and covering about 13 miles. Eventually, the driver lost control of that car and crashed, and then the cops found a ghost gun handgun with an extended what? magazine in the vehicle. 14. Wow. The teenager has been booked into juvie, and we're still waiting for some more info on the charges they will be facing. Quality parenting there. I mean, you go from a 14-year-old doing that, but at least this 11-year-old is doing something cool. Shout out to Declan Malady, 11 years old, going to the big national spelling bee from Snoqualmie oh, yeah. Elementary School. Uh, Declan, he uh, is off today, I guess, because that starts the preliminaries, and hopefully the... By the time the finals happen, which is on Thursday, we'll see Declan as a champion. He grew up having to know how to spell Snoqualmie. That's what got him his start. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying right there. That is a tough word to spell. Hey, the weather, we're going to hit a high of 60 degrees. It's going to be cloudy as well. That is the DMD, and that's what's up. Ryan Castle is up next with the Morning 12 Pack. The Daily Mix Show. Are you a fan of mystery and adventure? Introducing June's Journey the captivating free-to-play mobile game that will ignite your inner detective. Play as June Parker in a thrilling murder mystery adventure as you search for hidden objects to uncover the truth behind her sister's death. Step into the glamorous world of the Roaring Twenties with stunningly illustrated scenes and over a thousand mysteries to unravel. With new chapters added weekly, you'll never run out of clues to chase and suspects to interrogate. Plus, you can build your own island escape with beautiful gardens and buildings and even join a detective club to collaborate with other players. Experience the thrill of being a detective and unravel the mystery in June's Journey. Download June's Journey now on your Android or iOS device or play on PC through Facebook games. Start your summer road trip at Midas and get up to $30 off your next repair service. Plus, get a free closer look vehicle check to make sure you're road trip ready. So if you need a brake service and alignment check or tune-up, hit up Midas for up to $30 off. For more details, request your appointment at Midas.com. Welcome to Nada Yada Island. This season on Nada Yada Island. When we were new, they spoiled me. They even gave me a phone. But then, it's like I didn't exist. Don't take yada yada from your wireless carrier. Now with Metro, get that new customer feeling again and again. Introducing Metro Flex. Free 5G phones when you join, same deals as new customers when you stay. Only at Metro by T-Mobile. Just bring your number and ID and sign up for an eligible plan. After 12 months, trade in and get our best deals on select devices. 